Good morning guys and welcome back to this week's vlog. I've literally just spotted these stars behind me, I have to show you them. How insane are these? From Wild at Heart, which is my favourite florist in London. They have an amazing stall on Westbourne Grove. This is part of their new peony collection, which is just stunning. Like I actually cannot deal. Look at that. Look at that. Like, oh my gosh. Um, and they gave me a discount code, so peony10 will get you 10% off. I will leave all that down below. Anyway. It is bright and early on a Monday morning. I have quite a busy day of work today. So I thought I'm going to go to Waitrose as it opens, do a fridge shop for the week. And then that's done and dusted. And I'll be back here for about nine o'clock and I can crack on with the day. Just wearing this new lounge set from Mango. I had this in like a blue colour, but I had the trousers in a size down. And it meant they were just like a bit of an awkward length. So I've gone for a size up in this lovely like neutral colour. And jewellery is, well actually... Yeah, all of it is Monica Vinader. I'm a little bit shocked that I'm actually wearing cozy loungewear like this when it's literally June next week, but um, the weather is starting to get nicer. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. It's only left in a few sizes as well, so I thought I'd pick it up and go. I've obviously just got my little Chloe trainers on. I've also done a fresh layer of tan this morning, which may be why my face and neck isn't matching, because the tan is, I shared it on Instagram, it's um, Tanologist. And it's got quite this, it's kind of like a, can you see? It's got kind of like a grey guide colour. It'll look really nice in about an hour, but when it first goes on, it does have this kind of like grey tint to it. Um, don't quote me, but I think it's because it has properties in it or something in it that cancels out like the redness of your skin tone. Um, and it leaves you with the most incredible natural tan colour. It's not orange at all. It's just like a really gorgeous golden colour. I do one layer two days in a row. So I'll do one today and I'll do one tomorrow. And then that'll be me sorted for the whole week really. Um, but yeah, I like it. But just ignore if I have different coloured face to my neck. <laughs> moaned about this tracksuit so much in last week's vlog um but i have not stopped wearing it since i ripped the tags off the little skims one it's so good um anyway i am at the nail salon because one of my nails kind of lifted and then i picked it off because i'm a picker i don't know if you can tell this is actually the nail that i hurt like six months ago so to know to actually have no biop because basically when you get biop like redone you don't ever like take all the biop off so i actually haven't ever I haven't seen this now since my accident um but it's actually completely healed so it's good to like actually be able to see it and be like oh, okay there's no need to stress about that finger anymore um so that's good but yeah i thought i'd come in and get it fixed quickly why is it so awkward when someone walks past oh wait also remember i was mentioning those zara parcels from last week and i never actually showed you well I'm gonna put you um i actually realized i only ordered like three things so I, i'm not even gonna do a video but the stuff i did order is incredible like honestly you know when you open a parcel and like just everything is so nice when i say everything i mean all three pieces but i haven't felt this excited about a zara parcel for a long time so i will show you that either when i get home or tomorrow I had a chat with my hairdresser and we have ordered four packets of microbeads so once i go when i go in i'm fully getting these tapes out because what we were going to do is to not waste the tapes like the hair of the tapes is cut them in half and keep them around the back but i just thought you know what let's just start fresh and do all beads because i just know even if i have the tapes cut in half i'm just going to be like get them out i hate them so we've just ordered four packets of the same hair easy locks but in the micro beads and we're going to do the same color blend so this lighter color and then the other color is literally the same color as my natural um so it'll be a little bit thicker than this which is nice and i think the color will blend a lot nicer down the bottom like i don't know i just think it'll look so much better so yeah i'm very excited that that's all getting ordered that's a silver lining because if i was going to go in for my appointment today it was meant to be i had to move it then um i wouldn't have been able to order all that new hair so silver linings i've got to wait another week and a half or yeah about a week and a half but it means that i'll have all perfectly lovely mermaid hair for summer which i'm very excited about good morning guys it is such a gorgeous bright sunny day today so i'm feeling in a very good mood um I'm just getting ready because I'm heading off to Knightsbridge for an event and then I'm meeting Lauren and Fleur after that for 
lunch so it's gonna be a really nice day i am just putting together an outfit i have two options i know i mentioned about my zara order so from that order i have two different outfits so i'm trying to decide which one to wear today like i say it is very hot so i don't want to be like sweaty walking around london but i'll show you my options option one is this little linen cord from zara i absolutely love it i feel like it's just such a vibe i don't know if i need to size down in the trousers though because they are kind of making me look wide but as an overall look i think it's such a cool look little linen bomber um and then these kind of like jogger pants but they look smart obviously because they're linen and then i've got this really old very old actually knitted top on i have no idea where it's from um and then i have some earrings in from one covenador although i might do a bigger hoop here and then maybe add a necklace or some rings um so option number one is this uh, second option i really didn't think i'd prefer this but i definitely am going to wear this one it just feels more like event appropriate and i wasn't planning on wearing this open but then i thought that little knitted top i just had on is the perfect color match and it looks really cute like open and a bit more summery and less hot so this is my outfit um gucci loafers should i do these ones or should i do should i do the whites Ooh. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, I think tan. Okay, so jewellery, I need to... I think I'm going to swap out these earrings. I did just get a new set of earrings from Monica Benadon. I feel like they might look better with this outfit. Although these are really cute. These are definitely my most worn hoops from Monica Benadon. Um, but anyway, this is my little new jewellery box, which has been the most handy thing ever. It's so compact. So let me show you the earrings that I got new. So they're kind of actually like the ones I'm wearing. So the ones I'm wearing have like this kind of see that it's not like a perfectly smooth metal and then these ones are just like a bigger version of you see how it has this kind of like dented detail which i think is so pretty just makes them a little bit more interesting and less like perfect and um, also all monica vinader's jewelry is made from 100 percent recycled sterling silver and 18 karat gold verme which ones i think i like these bigger ones Yes, okay, let's go for the big hoops. Also, just popped on this little necklace, which I've shown you before, I love it. Oh, and this ring, which again, is kind of like that earrings. You see how it's like not perfect. It has that kind of dented detail, which I love. Um, and then my newest rings that I picked up, I think will look really cute as well. I got these as a little like stacking trio. You can buy them all individually as well, but you can also buy them as a, uh, a three. So start off with this one, just a simple, very cute little ring and then this is kind of like the mini version of this big one but it looks cute in the middle of stacking and then this one kind of similar to the bottom one but with a little diamond in it which by the way all their pearls gemstones and diamonds are ethically sourced look how cute that is i think that looks so nice together last ring i'm going to put on is this one which i just think is so cute look how sparkly these little diamonds are um and also they do this ring so without the diamonds so same ring without the diamonds but these bits are just gold and you can stack them and i was so close to getting it and then i was like i'll just see how much i wear this one and if i wear it enough i can get the stacking piece um but now that i've got it on i feel like that would be so cute stacked so that's my rings um also you can get 20 percent off monica vinador with code nadia20 i will leave all the links down below and then my last piece i've been so excited about this one the little tennis bracelet they do this in like you can get like diamond in it i think i'm not wrong in saying they have it in a few different colors but i just thought this emerald green and the gold was so beautiful especially against the tan like coming into the summer as well um so i'm gonna wear that one out as well I think that's so pretty i'll put all my selects down below also leave a page down below that you can shop like all of my favorites so all my uh, jewelry from monica vinado that i wear the most like these hoops and my necklace and all that stuff yeah, i'm really happy with this outfit i'm actually obsessed with it i think it's so cute okay so i just need to pack my bag order an uber and i will chat to you guys when i'm at the event so i am just in space nk for the tory birch launch they've just launched in the uk i think it's five Five, yeah, five new fragrances exclusive to Space NK, which is so cool. So just been smelling them. They are absolutely divine. Actually, some of them smell like really unique to anything I've smelled before, which I love in a perfume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, every bottle. And then just have a little. Yeah. Um, hi, we are in Children Firehouse. 
<laughs> Just having a diet coke. Cheers, my dear. Cheers. So standard procedure for us. <laughs> He's having a nice little catch up and a pit stop before we go for lunch. Where are we going for lunch? Carlotta. Carlotta in like, in Malibu. Malibu. So we're going there for lunch at two o'clock. So we've got about an hour to kill here. And yeah. <laughs> not gone to plan whatsoever and it's only like half nine in the morning but I was meant to go out for a shoot um this morning with Isabella and then head over and see Liv because Liv's in London for the day which is nice um but Liv's gonna be finished earlier than we had thought with her plans and then Isabella and I thought why don't we do a central shoot which means tomorrow I can drive into central and it won't be busy if we go up early in the morning because tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah, a little bit of a change around, but um, it means that today has become all fun and no work, which is great. It's literally the most stunning weather outside, so I'm wearing a lovely little skirt. I don't know, did I show you this? I don't think I showed you this. I got this when I was in um, Central the other day. It was this knitted skirt from Zara, which I just think is so pretty. I love that mesh panel. I feel like it really adds to the skirt. It is lined. It's a bit annoying because like, can you see that? line. I just put my bag on so you can see the full look. I paired it with this Reese cardigan which wouldn't have been my first choice but the skirt is a really like, like right now it doesn't look yellow because it's paired with the same colour but if you pair this skirt with white it's so yellow. Like, a lot of my like white t-shirts or like a lot of my planned options didn't work whereas this cardigan is actually the exact same colour so that actually works out perfectly. Done my little Gucci loafers which I think are perfect and then this bag would you believe is from Primark. Like Sorry, what? I just think it's so, so nice. Um, I am gonna go and look at the like mid-priced basket bags in like Selfridges today. I am reaching for them a lot this last few weeks and I think it'd be nice to invest in something a little bit uh, more luxury. But yeah, I'm taking this one out today. I absolutely love it. This will be such a good one for on holiday. Like not having to worry about getting it dirty or sandy or traveling with it, you know? This Monica Vinader necklace on. I have Monica Vinader earrings, the same rings that I showed you before. Um, and I've also got my little bracelet on stacked up with the rest of my stack, which I think looks really pretty. Glasses are Mew Mew and I haven't washed my hair in three days. I don't know why I always do this. I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll stick it up in a bun. No, my hair literally looks disgusting. Like it looks like vile. So, I would want to wear my sunglasses, but I'm actually using them as a hair accessory right now. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's the look. He is literally at the doctor's right now. I don't think in my seven years, in fact, no, definitely not in my seven years of being in a relationship with him has he ever gone to the doctor. Um, so he's feeling really ill. I don't know what's going on with him. Um, I think he might have like gastritis, um, or he thinks he's got like a kidney infection. So he is off to the doctor's. So he should be home soon and find out what's wrong with him. Perfume. I'm going to use this one that I got from the event the other day. It's called Sublime Rose. Can you see my names on it? <laughs> and also, I'm just obsessed with the bottle. I was actually between this one and there's another one called Cosmic Wood, which I actually thought I'd pick that one up, but I picked this one up. Like, it's a really beautiful, true, like, spring scent. I definitely got hay fever. I feel like it didn't hit me until like two weeks ago. I only ever developed hay fever literally like, I think like two years ago. Like I only ever have had it for two summers. It's horrific, isn't it? Anyway, I have a parcel from Merit Beauty, which I've been so excited to try. I keep seeing all the girls on TikTok use it. Actually, weirdly enough, I keep seeing the Irish girls use it. I wonder if it launched there earlier than it launched in here. Anyway. Who knows, but, oh my gosh, they very kindly sent me some bits to try. They've sent me this bag, which I always see girls using um, on TikTok, and I always think, isn't that the most beautiful little bag for summer? Like, how nice is that? I picked up a few bits to try. First is this serum, which I've been so excited about. It's called the Great Skin Serum, um, and it just looked really good. Instant Glow Serum. I think it'll be really nice, obviously, before makeup, 
Um, I'm gonna try all this with you tomorrow. No, not tomorrow because I'm shooting early, but I'll try it with you on like Sunday. I also got the foundation stick in two different shades. I wasn't sure of my shade, but this is what I've been, this is like the reason I knew about Merit Beauty was from this foundation stick. We're seeing girls use it on, it's so teeny, use it on um, TikTok and I always just thought it looked so nice. And I got the bronze balm. I just love the packaging of Merit. Like how nice is that? Um, which is a contour stick. Got the blush, again, obsessed with the packaging. You just twist that off and very nice. Then I got the lip products called the Lightweight Lipstick. It's their signature lip. Oh, look how nice that is. <laughs> um, in, oh, perfect. The shade is called Baby. That is so my kind of shade. Should I try it? Oh, I love it. Oh, it doesn't go out the lines. That's so nice. I'm going to take that with me today. Woo! That's so nice. I love it. Hello, hello. I am at Japonis. I actually got to see outside for once. Um, it's always rammed. It's so beautiful and sunny, and I'm here with Liv. Hi. Looking stunning. <laughs> and we have salads and water and I also have this as a non-alcoholic Afro spritz, it's actually delicious. So yeah, really lovely. holiday tomorrow so it definitely feels like a Saturday today. I did use the new Merit makeup this morning but my skin is so dry so I normally always would use a liquid foundation so like your typical pump foundation because this is a stick I feel like it's not as like fluid on the face and you kind of have to work it in a little bit more and I did scrub my skin this morning but I feel like because I'm working it in more my skin is actually like peeling off my face I don't know if it's gonna come up on camera, but I got halfway through filming it for you guys and I was like, you know what, this is just like, it's not looking cute. So I think I need to just work on the hydration of my skin and then try it again. But the contour, the blush, the lipstick, insane. I haven't tried the um, serum yet and the foundation, I need to give it another go when I've kind of like got my skin into a nicer place. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I picked up in the shops. I did not mean to splurge like this. But I went shopping. Um, I picked up some gorgeous bits. I did show you most of it in the little clip you would have seen. Let's start on Celine. Um, I've never ever bought from Celine before. I don't think so anyway. Um, and I also don't think I've ever been into a Celine store, which is so strange. But I will just say, out of every single designer store I've ever been into, Celine were by far the nicest shopping experience. The sales assistants were so lovely. The shop was gorgeous. There were so many things in Celine that I was like, actually me, me and Liv were walking around like, um, I literally could buy everything in the shop. Like everything was stunning. They had so many cute like knickknacks for the house, which I was very tempted by, but I didn't because I was like, I need to wait until I'm in. Um, but yeah, really, really pleasant shopping experience. So I went in for a browse and I had some loose things on my hit list, um, but nothing in particular. As in like I didn't have anything in Celine that I really desperately wanted to buy. I actually only went in there to try the basket bags but they didn't have the colour um, and the size that I wanted. But anyway, I ended up coming out with two things. So the first is a card wallet. Let me show you what mine looks like. I've actually had mine for about three years now. It's from Louis Vuitton. Um, I got it for Christmas a few years ago. But it has started to tarnish. Can you see the metal? It's like kind of pink at the edges. Um, so yeah, that's a bit annoying, but I do love it. And I love how compact it is and it's so cute, but I feel like it was just time to pick up a fresh one. This is the one that I picked up from Celine. I think it's so cute. It's pretty much the exact same size, so handy in that way. Um, it's got the classic Celine print, the gold buckle, and then it opens up with a button for all your cards and stuff in there. It is also this little slot bit, I guess, for like receipts or money. It's so weird though, I don't carry money anymore. Me and Johnny had like some pound coins sitting in the kitchen. We were like, 
when is the last time you ever saw a pound coin? It's so weird, everyone just uses card now. Um, but the reason I was sold on this was because the back has a little coin press. I know I've just said I don't use coins, but you know if you're on holiday and things and it's just handy, but that pops off. So you've got a tiny little clutch, you know those little holiday bags and they don't fit anything in them. This pops off the back and it has a little card slot in it. You just take this tiny little purse out, which I think is great. Then I went to the perfume section. You guys know I am an absolute fiend for perfume. This is called Reptile. It is the most gorgeous, very masculine, very kind of heavy, smoky scent. I just love it. So, oh, so good. I picked it up and I don't know yet if I want to wear it or if I want to smell it on Johnny and he wear it. Oh my God, it literally smells insane. I love it so much. So I picked that up, um, which I'm still debating, like I say, if it's for me or if it's for Johnny. He likes it, but I don't think he absolutely loves it. So maybe I'll wear it. But it's one of those scents where it's like, do you want to smell like it or do you want to smell it on the person you love? Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, pick that up. So that's what I got from Celine. And then I went to Loewe and tried on some of the basket bags and I bought one. So like I mentioned, I was on the hunt for something mid price. I think this was about, f yeah, I think this was like 400 or 420. So it's still expensive, but not, you know, hitting the 1000 mark. Um, and this is the one that I got. I feel like I'm very late to the game here. I feel like everybody has this bag and everybody's seen this bag. But I just thought it would be such a good addition to my spring summer wardrobe. And also in this last kind of like year, I've really gotten into wearing like bigger bags a bit more. Whereas before it was always like crossbody, small bag. But there's nothing cuter than a little basket bag. I went for the brown tan instead of the white. Because I feel like I wear a lot more khakis and neutrals and white sometimes can just feel a bit stark. So I thought the brown would be nicer in my wardrobe. Um, and yeah, it's so cute. It's just a big, simple basket. I wore it out yesterday. So handy for London. It comes in this dust bag, but the lady in the store told me she just puts the dust bag inside and then puts all of her stuff in the dust bag. And then you've got like a little liner inside, which I think is such a good idea. Um, I think you can actually buy them separately, like the ones that are intended for inside the bag but the dust bag does the job. So yeah, really, really chuffed with that. I think it's so cute. But I don't know if I would take this on holiday. Like I feel like it's perfect for holiday, but I also don't know if I'd want to take it traveling um, just cause it's not like that practical and you can't really make them too heavy cause it is just straw. So I don't know. I feel like this is going to get the most wear in England in my spring summer wardrobe. So like with little dresses and shorts and all like the nice kind of girly flowy stuff in my spring summer wardrobe, but in England. Then I went to Massimo Duty and I met a couple of you girls. So if you are watching, thank you for coming up and saying hi. I literally love meeting you guys. Um, I feel like I need to go out more because when I'm out, I get to meet you guys and I don't go out much and I love it. It really like makes my day getting to see you guys. So anyway, I picked up, well, I tried on a few different things. Um, I only got one thing in the end though. So this was a beautiful linen jumpsuit. Um, it's gonna be a little bit hard to show you, but I'll put a clip on screen of me trying it on. So it's like a halter neck, lovely white linen, really lovely like wide culotte legs. And then the back is kind of open, which I thought was so cute. And then you've got a little waist tie as well. So it's kind of like one of those pieces that's a chuck on, very kind of flowy and comfortable but can be really dressed up as well as dressed down it's great for holiday it's great for england it's just a good kind of like all-rounder so i got that and finally went to h&m and got the most basic little beach cover-up it's this lovely like kind of see-through crinkle material and it's a dress but it has these like ties down the front as well so it's not kind of the thing i'd wear to breakfast because you'd see your bikini under it but, I mean on holiday, <laughs> but I would wear it, I'd take it to the pool and you know when you're like on your sun lounger and you want to go and get a drink or you need to go to the loo, you just pop that on instead of having to like actually get dressed. So yeah, I thought that was cute. And then the final thing I got, I get these every single time I walk into Zara, <laughs> not Zara, H&M, are these socks. There's the multi-pack of the neutral trainer socks because I don't know where my socks go. I just it baffles me my whole life. I think, I think everyone's the same. My socks just literally run away. So I picked some of them up. Um, and yeah, that's all that I got. So I'm just going to put everything in my little purse and play around with it for a bit. And then today is very chilled. It's absolutely scorching hot outside. So I think I'm going to go and hose down the garden furniture and put some, put all the cushions out and then sit and read my book and have a non-alcoholic wine for the afternoon. <laughs> I think you guys have seen Biggie in this week's vlog yet. <laughs> Say hello. He's got his little bodysuit off. 
for most of the day. We just leave it on for night time now. But you're recovering well, aren't you? Hmm? He um, has started, I think he's got like a psoriasis. Let me see if I can find. Okay, I can't find one. Can you guys, yeah, here. See his arm there where the, the fur has like come out? He's had it once before. And I thought it was like possibly like anxiety. Um, but now we're starting to think maybe is it his food? Because it's his raw food, just just raw food, Johnny. Johnny's got his earphones in. His raw food is like meat and bone. I don't think there's any vegetables in it. So I'm wondering if he's now starting to like need veggies and nutrients that way. The vet's appointment in like two weeks. I'm gonna wait and see if it gets any better because if it does get any better by then, then I think it's anxiety from like his operation and stuff. But if it doesn't get any better, I think he might have some kind of skin condition, which is just so annoying. I thought we got away with this this one because Bean used to suffer really bad with um, skin, like itchy skin and skin problems. But yeah, it's like clumps of his fur is falling out. Anyway, I need to hose down. That's a lie, I don't have a hose, the hose broke. I need to wipe down this garden furniture. Johnny did it like, two days ago and there's like new spider nests like formed on it. I think there might be like a nest, like a full on nest of a spider somewhere. So that's a bit annoying, but um, I want to wipe it down so we can get the cushions on it. Finally, first time this year we've been able to get is up. Looks so much nicer. I forgot how nice it is. We got it from Maid, but I think Maid's shut now, isn't it? So I think Next bought them, but I don't feel like this will be on Next. Anyway, it's perfect. It's only 11.55, but because it's non-alcoholic, I feel like it's acceptable. <laughs> I'm gonna have a non-alcoholic sparkling tea. I'm almost finished this, which is so sad, but I got it in Dalesford a few weeks ago. If you have not tried, whoops, sparkling tea, try it if you are trying to cut back on alcohol. It's so good, I always say this, it's so good because it's not trying to mimic alcohol, it's not trying to taste like alcohol, it's just its own standalone drink. Um, and it's not too sweet, it's just, it tastes, I don't know how to describe it, it's just lovely. Have you had it before? No, but it doesn't taste like tea. Well, one of the Fortnum's, I've only had the Fortnum ones apart from this. The Fortnum's one had a little taste of tea. Oh my God, that's all I have left. This one though, is from Copenha Copenhagen Company, Sparkling Tea. Um, and it's just gorgeous. And like I say, it's not trying to mimic alcohol, so you don't taste it and like compare it to champagne. It just tastes like its own drink, and it's so lovely, like it's in the champagne bottle. Just gives you that like nice feeling of pouring a nice drink. Um, but yeah, it's delish. Not gonna lie, I would definitely rather a proper champagne. But, like I said to you guys last week, alcohol is just hitting me so different these days, and I feel like I want tomorrow to be productive, and so there's just, it's just stupid, a stupid decision if I drink alcohol, like, today, you know, because it's, it's going to ruin tomorrow, which is a bit annoying, but anyway. I don't need to put his office cushions out, but we have garden cushions from Arrigi Bianchi, where are they? That's so cute. <laughs> It's for an umbrella. Oh, okay. It is. Oh, okay. I've got this big like garden blanket. I'll show you. I think I've shown you like a couple of years ago. It's, it's for the ground, but you can put an umbrella in it. So I thought in the, well, it never worked because we've got astral, but I did think it'd be good for the dog to sit an umbrella over the blanket. That will stink as pee, Johnny. But basically, if anyone's got astral turf and dogs, you'll know the smell I'm talking about. It's disgusting. Pee. It was on the floor. I put it up for Biggie the other day. How lovely that looks. Gorgeous. Are you going to start with me? No. Are you actually not? No. I don't want to sit this one. I'm still ill. You could sweat it out. I'm sweat I'll sweat it out because you made me do all that. Well, I'm going to read my book. I still didn't start um, Layla. Well, I did start it, but I don't even remember what I read um, from Colleen Hoover. So I'm going to restart that this afternoon and get stuck into it. Shame their flowers never came out because they were beautiful white flowers. Are they? You match it, you match the uh, furniture on it. This is a little new look. The, the so dead cute. bush. Oh. <laughs> no, you I match the dead bush. No, 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 no. you match the furniture. But that usually is a uh, beautiful white flowers. I will miss I feel like they're gone, so I'll try to check it back over. Do you think they're gone? I think they're gone, no. Our neighbour. 
neighbours are moving out. And there's been like moving trucks and like young like young boys on the street, so we're not sure if they're like No, I don't think that is a, they wouldn't you wouldn't be allowed to do that. You wouldn't be allowed yeah, to if they're moving gone. at like ten o'clock at night. So we're not sure if our neighbours have gone yet. I think it was just someone got a new Mercedes and they were They've just about. moved out the minute we're leaving, honestly they're so annoying. They used to have like parties all night. Nah, he's alright. No. They used to have literal blaring music. They did it a couple of times. Listen literally, to you, you're 25 years old. I know. Literally, it would start at like 8 p.m. and I swear on my life, it didn't finish until like 7 a.m. in the morning. It happened two or three times, guys. Oh, it used to make me so angry. <laughs> yeah, you were probably once at you. Never, probably, yeah. yeah. And what? But when I was like 15. And <laughs> <laughs> 45. Mm -hmm. they, they liked to have a good time. The only problem I have with it. Only my problem I had with it was they loved they to do it on a Sunday. I'm in my boxes. They can't see you. It's up to my waist. But I'm, yeah, I don't. But yeah, they used to cook. Yeah, I think he was a chef, and they used to. Is that what you're saying? They used to cook barbecues, and the smell from just. No, I said so that they good. used to do it on Sundays, and that's what really pissed me off. Oh yeah, because it ruined your Monday. It's a bad holiday though. No, but it doesn't. It's weird. It's a bad holiday, and you're not getting litty titty. I can't. Johnny's had a kidney infection, did I tell you that? I don't think I updated you. He got diagnosed with a kidney infection. And I waited a week before going to the doctor like an idiot. I know, I told them. I've never seen you go to the doctor in my seven years of knowing you. I've never been to a doctor in seven years. <laughs> and even registered said. a GP. Yeah. And I've now done it, and now I'm going to have to do it back when we get to Manchester. I'm gonna leave you guys there because there's not much else happening today. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. Everything I showed you and talked about will be down below in the description box. And I will see you all next week. Bye.